Jim, we're, we're waiting on him. Let me... There we go. There it is on the screen. Holy shit. Ah, oh, there we go. There Hello, we go, Jim. Jim. Go ahead. I like your previous avatar more. Uh, well, you know, Hal is a great guy. So what uh, what DMs now? Because I can't access the fucking account. I'm suspended. I'm yeah, me neither. So this is annoying. Uh, I can pinpoint the date. Um, it's when you were making the videos about the uh, people. Well, no, just just tell me, tell me what they're about, and then I'll be I'll remember what you're talking about. Which which particular set of DMs? Okay, so first let's confirm if the DMs are real or not, because I, I sent them to you and you didn't uh, confirm or deny them. Um, it's basically a leak, a DM leak between you and someone else, and you are explaining uh, why you are helping the IBS community where you say that you don't like streaming, but you're willing to eat shit and go on streams if it means pissing off the liberalists. Oh, yeah, no, that's absolutely true. Yeah, they got really fucking angry when IBS started getting popular. I'd say about a month into it. Um, once Worski started streaming with JF, once Tonka started doing it with Failure, uh, it was like every day where people, and it was the usual suspects. I mean, you had Kraut and all of them, of course. You had the Jeff Holidays. Uh, you had the short fat otakus. Everybody was whining about it. Even the quartering was whining about it. Oh my, uh, uh, Karen from fucking the Money Badgers was whining about it. IBS is going to get people killed. IBS is horrible. This is terrible. This needs to end. Like, and I, I fucking love that. So, I, and it wasn't that I said I'd go on streams to eat shit. It said I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't harp too much on certain issues and just kind of take more of a backseat thing because. I'm not going to try to sink something that was pissing other people off that much. That doesn't, that doesn't work out for me. Yeah. But you were also saying at the time that you just don't care. You're not, you're not involved in anything. And then you come out saying that you just wanted to anger the liberalists. So you are willing to go on streams, even if you don't like it. No, the person you're talking, you're talking about zoom. And this is when I was setting up the stream. Uh, Ralph was on that one. Worski was on that one. Uh, and their main complaint or the complaint they came to me with was, oh, we've got all these issues with Tonka. We've got all these issues with like Andy Worski. Um, you know, they're doing this, this and this. Why don't you ever talk about it? And I was basically responding and saying, I'm not going to start picking apart shit and IBS myself because it pisses these idiots off so much. But I'm more than willing to set but up a stream. If you guys were basically saying you were going to be the umpire, right? I mean, th that's kind of how you set it up, right? Like, I... Well, that was or, or, pretty much... Maybe, maybe not a full umpire, but you were going to give the forum, you know what I mean? Like, well, yeah, I, I told all the participants the same thing. I said, you know, if you want to put up a video, try not to fucking have docs yeah. in it. If you want to bring up screen... It, it, that was basically the one rule. It's just don't dox each other, and I'm not going to fucking interfere, and you can all scream at each other. I don't give a shit. And it was, mm. it, was a, it was a complete cluster. Now, it wasn't my idea to go on, but I was there kind of as an ancillary character. Yeah, um, you and you and Worski were kind of ancillary characters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, go ahead, go ahead, V. But oh, yeah, I, I know, I, yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about, though. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the, yeah that's that's real. We had that conversation. I, yes. I, I confirmed this to you when you you asked me about it and said, "Is this real or not?" And I told you everything I laid out in that is exactly what I thought. I, I thought Sargon is not as clean as he wants to come off. I'll just say it openly. I don't think Sargon is as honest or clean as he wants to come off as. I think he's dirty. Um, I think the candid shit, he was dirty. Um, I think that uh, he likes to send out his little capos to do his bidding for him, like Short Fat Otaku and other faggots, because he doesn't want to get his hands dirty. Uh, and I just, I don't trust him. And when I hear him make statements on stream where he says, I'll lie if it's convenient for me. I mean, this is a guy that wants to run for political office, right? He has a political ambition. You know, what, what is he expecting is going to happen when somebody in the press pool comes up and says, so can you comment on the white niggers? Uh, can you comment <laughs> on saying, can you comment on saying that uh, you'll lie when it's convenient for you? Or here's a better one, V. Um, we know that you have an association with a, a YouTuber by the name of Matt Jarbo. Well, recently information came out that Matt Jarbo may or may not have allegedly tried to rape a teenage girl behind a church at knife point. Um, do you disavow that person or do you stand by them? Why are you commenting on Matt Jarbo's videos? You talk about uh, the Rotherham rapes, uh, but you don't you don't disavow Matt Jarbo. Is that because the people in Rotherham were a little darker than Matt? Is that it? And does that play into the white nigger mentality? Well, let's go through the accusations. So first of all, um, this is the reason. Um, I believe Ralph asked me why Sargon is mad at Jim. I like did, when you, no, when you... but I also asked you specifically, and 
I mean, Jim's here now. Like, yeah. Why even put that out there? I mean, Sargon had to have told you to put that out there, right? Like, I, I can neither confirm nor deny. So that, but means let's yes, that means yes. That means yes. Thing. But go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. So you asked me why is Sargon uh, upset at Jim. Well, if you try to start the movement and you get DMs with this person that you used to interact with and is doing his best to try to fuck your movement, uh, or at least that's how it's coming off as. You, you v, can see... v, if you go read the DMs and you, if you read them, you'll literally see what it says is, I, uh, the reason I didn't fuck around with IPS or uh, you know, uh, turn around and fire at them, that kind of thing, the reason I was hands off with that was because it pissed liberalists off. And I just gave you like eight examples of liberalists that it pissed off. But IBS as an entity wasn't uh, trying to stop your political movement. There, there wasn't a motivation among them. It made you mad. That's what I liked. That's why I didn't. That's why I was hands off with it. That's why I enjoyed it because it pissed people off so much. So you had the short fat otakus and the quarterings and everybody else that seemed to always be in Sargon's sphere of influence coming around you know there's that picture of sargon where he's the grim reaper going door to door to door and it's really weird when something is created and is doing pretty well and seems to have some momentum going all the fucking sudden the skeptics show up and if they can't co-opt it they try to kill it and they kill it with that concern trolling shit of oh my god ibs is so terrible and oh my god it's so racist and oh my god how well, wasn't that uh, wasn't that karen strong who made those accusations because i don't think uh, sargon myself or short fat otaku made the accusations that it's getting people killed. i don't you know i'd have to go through short fat otaku's tweets and i'd have to look through his shit but i don't know i don't want to piss off some guy that's got eight times the <laughs> the level of testosterone in his fucking ovaries is what I've heard Allison Prime has going. So I, you know, that's a fucking thing. I'll have that table for another time. But what I'm but saying let's is, let's go that... back to the accusations because you said that uh, Sargon is willing to lie. I believe the context of the stream was that he knows that the kill stream is not out, uh, not the kill stream. Sorry, the Kumate is not Kumate, outright. Yeah, yeah, it's not outright. He knows that. Yeah. And the idea was, if someone comes up to him and says that the Kumate is outright, will he correct that person? It's not, it's not that he would lie that the Kumate is outright. Would he correct someone that he knows is wrong about the Kumate? Oh, so he's, he, no, no, no. Oh, oh, let, me, let, me, let me have my little interaction with me. So, yeah, he, he's fine with propagating misinformation when it's beneficial to him, when it's politically expedient. So who the fuck's going to elect a guy uh, into office when he basically will tell you openly, it's politically expedient for me not to give you the truth or make sure that you have the truth, only what serves my purposes. Who the fuck's going to go put a ballot in the box for that? Well, a lot of people in his camp, including myself, were really upset at the way he answered that. Uh, but afterwards, you know, when he apologized, uh, many other people, including Tonka, uh, you know, said, well, that's fair enough. So it's, it's up to you to decide if, if you are willing to accept his apology or not. Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm just, I, God, I don't, I, it's like. Okay, you want to know uh, when you tweeted the suit thing at me? I really did think you were fucking around because I was like, there's no way he'd write something a like that. Fear on my cheek, Jim. There's no way he'd write something like that because it comes off as so childlike, right? It's it, it's like, I have a suit. I'm a big boy now. It's so kid-like that it, it's almost adorable. Well, you do have I, an avatar with a suit. I, oh, yeah, but, but here's the thing is that's how I feel like he's trying to approach this kind of like veer off into politics was it was like this childlike wonderment of it and i don't think he appreciates what politics is and when you're in the arena the real arena these people are going to fuck his ass on television with every single quote he's ever said and you can you know hand wave away a lot of it you can say oh well he's dealing with sjw's and you can explain to the voters what an sjw is and why they call everybody a nazi but then you're still left with shit where he's saying i lie when it's convenient you're still left with shit where he's calling people white niggers and saying you need to act like white people. And I don't care how slick a politician you may think you are. That's enough to pr pretty much kill anybody's political ambitions. And it's just it, that that sort of shit uh, haunts you. And it's just weird watching him fumble around doing this and it, like with this like childlike wonderment. So, yes, when you sent those, I, I, I it was at Discord, I guess, the Discord messages, mm -hmm. I was like, there's, mm -hmm. there's no way. There's no way he would really write this kind of shit. There's fucking no way. I still need an apology because you doubted me. That 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 still hurt. That they, they were legit. They were. Yeah. So you're saying on the record they were legit. Yeah, they were legit. So okay. Okay. But, so but I, so I, I, no, I, I, wait, 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 wait. So they were legit. 
I already yeah. assumed that they were. What's stopping him from from coming on here now? Well, I'll talk to him. I, oh, I guarantee right, you, right he, he's, he's, he, he, he's watching this show right now. I mean, there's no, 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 pro- no. I, I, I'm pretty sure he isn't. I don't, uh, I don't believe that. Ralph, we're suitless. Of course, he's not watching. <laughs> 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 Although you, you do have a subject, but I have a question for Jim because this one is uh, quite uh, bewildering. So, yeah, on, on many, yeah, on many occasions, you said that the Louis three was a trap. I mean, the way I view it is that Louis oh, it absolutely, not- absolutely, one hundred percent was yes. Louis Levey is a dick sucker of Sargon. Louis Levey is in love with Sargon. Uh, Louis Levey. Okay, let's the 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 way this transpired. Let me ask the question. Wait, well, I the, no, I, I'm going to give you my okay. answer first. Then you can adjust your question right. if I haven't satisfied you. I get a That's message fun. from who? Do, who do I get a message from? Oh, the quartering, telling me, "Hey, Louis Levey wants you to come onto his stream." That's all I get told. I was like, "All right, whatever." I've never really interacted with the quartering. I didn't know much about him at the time. I go onto Louis' stream. Uh, Louis wants to talk to me about why uh, you know the liberalist stuff and why making jokes about Sargon because. I posted the Murdoch Murdoch click of Sargon needs more dopamine, which is funny as shit. Uh, and what do I see immediately in the fucking chat is Sargon running his fucking mouth. So here you have Louis LeVay and quartering both, you know, uh, admirers and friends of Sargon. And there's Sargon in the chat. And Louis telling me, oh, no, no, it's just I just wanted to have this conversation with you. It's just I'm not fucking five years old, V. And this, you know, I know like you guys have this habit of running around being like, can you prove it? Can you prove it? Can you give me proof? We're adults, okay? We don't need the shit spelled out in black and white to be able to see what's going on plainly and to fucking interpret the events. Well, I, I have two things to add to that. Number one, when I came on the kill stream with accusations, I was asked for proof, couldn't prove it. I apologize. But the second thing, I'll tell you how the story really happened. I remember you started first uh, mocking Sargon's idea of uh, starting a movement. So Louis makes the stream, talks about your tweets, uh, eventually asks you on, you come on, you're demolishing Louis um, to the point where, you know, Sargon was in the chat, didn't like what's happening and asked to come on. And you were asked if Sargon can come on. Now you say that this was a trap. Like the Sar- trap was Sargon, to okay, the wait, why doesn't, why doesn't Sargon like what's happening? If it's Louis' stream, why does Sargon, oh, see, that's a weird thing. Because to he, was, he wasn't able to defend the, the argument. He was doing a bad job. No, no, but the way you make it sound, Sargon didn't like how it was going. So now he wants to get involved. So his cap was not doing well. So here comes the stepfather. Is that what you're if, saying? If you, if you would put out the movement and one of your friends would defend it and he would give bad arguments, wouldn't you want to step in and say, hold on? Like it was a one day, you know, the, the thing happened. In well, the I, 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 I don't start movements. I mean, I was a part of a movement. But if you would. Day Matt started, but I think we've all seen how that turns <laughs> out. <laughs> But my question is, like, what was the trap, the discussion between you and Sargon? Like, were you trying to avoid that discussion and you viewed it as a trap? Like, you, you facing Sargon on, on the Louis stream? No, this is a, a hey, we're not going to tell you what this is even about, bring you on. And then, hey, this is what this is about. And, oh, by the way, let me bring on, you know, uh, let me, Sargon is going to start uh, cheerleading from the comment section with his little snipes. So that's why I said, well, if you're going to just sit in the comments and snipe, why don't you actually come on yourself? So, so you're the one who invited them. You just told me that he was watching in the yeah, chat. And, and he all, didn't like yeah. how it went. So I didn't invite him into the chat. He knew the stream was going on. How do you know the stream was going on? Right. So, so I just want to clarify because it happened a couple of months ago. You're saying that this, he was This happened like chat. six months ago. But yeah, yeah go ahead. Six months ago. No, so he was in the like chat and you, you ago, said... Yeah. Well, well, you I mean, want, we, you can, want we, the, we can rewatch the stream. It was January. Go. It was January. No, wait, yeah. wait, wait. You want the deepest lore here? Why don't we talk about the, you know, it is kind of weird. We could rewatch the chat, could we? Oh, no, wait, we can't because Louis took the video down to erase the chat and then put it back up, didn't he? Put uh, copyright strikes on other people who upload. Yeah, and then people are saying the times don't add up. There's a longer version and Louis is kind of edited. I don't know. I can't confirm or deny this, but it seems. Oh, you you were there. Like, what what was edited about? Because I was asleep when the. Uh, You want me to remember an hour hour and a half long conversation from six months ago? I mean, I am pretty amazed. But but, but but you you would remember if something important (laughs) was removed. Like if something important was removed, you'd probably remember it, you know, like the week after. Or, or you know, hey, we wouldn't be able to see Sargon bitching in the comments continually, would we? That might look bad for him. So, uh, you gotta pull that no, line. But I, I confirmed it. I confirmed this. Sargon was bitching in the comments. You, you were there. You confirmed it. I mean, dude, just bring Sargon on. What the fuck? I know he's watching this right now. Just, just bring him on. No, he's not watching it. 
I don't believe that. I can that. see because, no, he, it, you get the Reaper red dot on the disc. <laughs> yeah, he has suits he needs tailored. Bro. <laughs> this is ridiculous. You know he's, Jim, you know he's watching this. Like, I just, just come on. Like, what? Well, I, I don't, I, at this point, I don't really care. It'll be a well, kill stream. Yeah, no, It'll no, be no. a kill stream exclusive. I promise you, Ralph. <laughs> I promise you, I will make one. Just because you're angry, he won't come on your stream. So I said I'd only do it here. <laughs> That's the exclusive. Okay, so if it it's ever an, happens, it's a, it's a fucking exclusive. But I, I, I we're getting off, we're getting off track. Okay, so that you, you said there were two reasons, V. Uh, the one I guess you're saying is because I, I enjoyed watching IBS make uh, Sargon mad. What was the other one? Well, it was the fact that you were fucking with his uh, movement. That's that's what made. Is, is it even his movement? I mean, uh, who starts a political party and then joins another political party? But that's the thing. we're going to be we're going to be liberalists. This is what we stand for. By the way, I'll be back in a couple months. I'm going to go join you, Kip. Yeah, I mean, I think you're misinformed. It wasn't a political party. It was a movement for activism, for oh, classical God. liberalism. Like, he actually says this on his video. Okay, okay. I, well, I'm misinformed, but it still yeah. looks silly. Does well, it? no, you, like, if you, if you create a movement for, I don't know, like, what, what activism happens today, like, let, let's say you're for PETA, right? And then you decide to join a political party, but it's not inconsistent. You can still do activism for PETA while inside politics. Okay, I, uh, this is a, a we'll side table that. I, I will agree to disagree on this conversation. But what was the, what was the other one though? What oh, you I think, do? yeah, I think uh, he confronted you, or uh, at least uh, uh, on the Kumate he said it. Um, the, the the fact that he doesn't like that you're not doing your agitprop for political means and you're doing it for entertainment. Well, no, better question, Ralph. How could I have confronted? How could he have confronted me on the the Tonka's uh, morning show when he had seventeen stipulations about what could be talked about, who could be there, how long it would go for? Well, I, I mean, else was allowed. Yeah, no, that's that's a good. Well, I, I know why that happened, because last time when he was on Baked Alaska and he spoke with Andrew Anglin, uh, the moderator there dogpiled him. Like, he invited three or four other people. He was arguing against seven people, I believe, and, and then I came in. So he, he didn't well, like those types of tactics. And yeah, by the way, I see chat. I was muted. I mean, I really didn't say anything that important other than... Oh, now that people are spamming F. Did you get pulled down? As a no, 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 no. I'm still no, good. Just the, I'm just, still just good. The... All, all I said was... You know, th there was nothing stopping him. Like he he made these these stipulations on his own, and um, you know we've had fun with him on this show. But it, but if he showed up as a as a you know an honest participant, I'm not gonna try to you know make him look bad. I mean he can do that on his as own. As I said, I'll try to make it happen. I really want to see Jim and Saga. But, but you understand, and I said this earlier. You know, the last time you were on here, well, not the last time, but within the last three or four times you were on here, you said, I'm going to tell Sargon not to come on because he calls everybody white niggers and I, I can't let I can't let him on here. He's going to make himself look bad. Like, you said that publicly. Yeah, but now he's a new kid. He's got a membership. Uh, the, the the issue was discussed with the people at UKIP. So, well, I, mean, I, I think it's fine. I, wait, 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 wait. Okay, now see, that's another dumb thing. He shouldn't be letting people like you make statements like that. I just want to clarify. Are you telling me that UKIP was fine with Sargon of Akkad saying that people needed to act like white men? No, stop I said being, it was discussed. Start, stop being white niggers. They've discussed no, I, I, Yeah. They, they so discussed UKIP it. is aware of this. Well, I think Sargon himself made the statement on um, what, one of his shows. He said that he's not allowed to use the N-word anymore. Like, you do <laughs> see that... You will see that whatever whatever it comes to it, he, he uses the N word. Now, can can we also say that uh, Sargon had to publicly admit that everything I said about his membership in UKIP was true, right? I mean, he, he tried to say that I was making up shit and this wasn't this wasn't the case, and uh, you know how dare you? And then he put out a video that that stated everything I said was true. Yeah. He I mean, did. it looked, yeah, it looked really weird. You know, like uh, Jim came out earlier, said that uh, we're adults, we don't need evidence. I mean, come on, it, it looked very weird. Okay, it can look weird, but, 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 but everything he was saying about me, and he, he tried to, I mean, look, I hate to use the slander word, but that, that's what he was trying to do. Well, yeah, you guys can have all your different standards. I, I'm saying this is how I handle it. 
And in the end, Ralph was proved right twice. Yeah, exactly. You That's were, what I'm you saying. Were wrong about, you were wrong about Negro Joe and you were wrong about the emails. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, basically what I'm saying, V, is if Ralph tells you the lottery numbers, go buy a fucking ticket. <laughs> But the thing is, like, he made the video where, where he said that you're right. So what, what is the question? Well, I will, I will say this. He put up a video on his secondary channel. He didn't update the original video. You know, it's all about ethics, right? Uh, he, he, didn't, he didn't put any clarification there. Uh, I will say he did, he did put out the secondary video, but, but, but the original still stands. And, you know... If you're well, all those about are ethics. my standards, is what I'm saying. Well, but what about, uh, look, we're what, talking what, about Sargon. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not yeah. saying that those are your standards. I'm saying by his own standards, by his own ethical standards, he he fell short. Is is one of the. I don't, don't want to that. divert it into that. We can take it into that all day long. Uh, but yeah, that's yeah. True. Okay, so I, I, again, I got lost. So what was the second? What was the second reason? Well, uh, he confronted with you on Louis Levas stream. I remember now, like uh, when he called you a coward for not uh, doing uh, agit prop towards uh, political gains, whatever that they may be. Yeah, and um, I guess I guess my response to him then, and my response to anybody bringing that up now would be, it's fucking YouTube. Where why aren't why don't I see liberalists or skeptics running up to Markiplier and demanding that he join politics? Hey, you've got a million people in your audience, Markiplier, stop doing let's plays. Hey, ones plays, stop doing let's plays. You need to join a political party and start agitating for the common good, or you're a fucking coward if you don't. No, I, I agree with you on on this. Like, you should make content on whatever you want to make it. I think why why he said it is because you used to do um, more politics. Like your video against the EU was quite eye opening, and it came up way before you know Brexit, and then all the conversation happened. Uh, your video with the tale of two accounts. Um, I, I believe you make quite quite a lot of uh, interesting videos that you, you, you got this charm, I guess, in explaining something that takes 30 minutes to explain in just 10 seconds. Um, and, and that's why he uh, basically thinks you're a coward that you don't want the fame or some shit. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't agree with him on that at all. I have no interest in politics and I have no interest in being a political guy. I have no interest in playing the game and dancing the dance. And it's foolish to think that uh, somebody with my history, especially online, wouldn't be more damaging than I would good. You know, it's kind of like uh, when white nationalists say, hey, Jim, why aren't you full on ethno nationalists? Well, do you want the guy that's fucking an Asian chick to be backing your movement? Isn't that going to make you look like assholes? When well, would they up? have a lot of people like that? I mean, would, would you be the only one? Would you be the odd one out? I'm talking for myself. So mm -hmm. uh, you want me to go... Well, hold on. What, what, what you if you're Asian? Go, like, you play, you play StarCraft, you play Brood War, you seem to have yeah, a high but, IQ. Like... V, v, you want me to go march in the streets and do the politics thing? And again, when you're in the real world of politics... The nigger clips and the kike jokes and the faggot statements, they all come back in because your political opponents aren't retarded. Yeah, I agree with you with that. But the thing is, you know, you know what's different about the UK compared to the United States? Well, the men are cucks. Well, that, that too, because if you read the news, you'd see that because of uh, fear of being called racist, police allowed over 10,000 girls to get raped by Muslim rape gangs. So maybe people should say nigger more often. Maybe if this is the price for political correctness, if this is the price to uh, not be viewed as racist, uh, then maybe it's not worth it. I'm, I'm not British, V. <laughs> like, but, but we're talking about yeah you're, you're talking about a person who does british politics so you know apply to that country it has a uh, different potential that you can use against your opponent yeah i think the only solution for europe and a lot of places is violence i've, I've openly stated that i, I can neither confirm nor deny yeah, I know, because you know you don't want to you don't want to go on record as that smart. See, now if you kept your fucking mouth shut when it came to other things, you'd probably be a lot better off. But yeah, <laughs> I will openly state I think violence is a solution for many of the problems that the world is facing at the moment. Yeah, no, I, I I I can neither confirm nor deny. I will repeat what I said the first time. Well, the the platform is open for Sargon to show up, but. Yeah, as I as I said, I'll talk to him. I'll, I'll see if I can. Uh, I, I want to see the debate between. I, I don't. And I, I don't know if I want to. You know, I mean, uh, yeah, I don't own a big boy suit, right? <laughs> it, it would be it would be awkward. 
And I'm not used to going on smaller streams like Sargon does. Because <laughs> kind of like, they're 20,000 people. So it'd be weird stepping down to a smaller audience. Mm. So, so you want Sargon on your channel is what you're saying? No, because they'd probably be bored. They'd be like, who is this? Um, <laughs> maybe, we could, maybe we could host it on the kill stream. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk to him. Uh, I, I don't promise that. I think I don't mind control the man. But I'll, I'll do my best to try to get him to come on. Well, we'll okay, see. it sounds good. <laughs> yeah, so that, I, I don't even know what to say. Yeah, we'll see. V, but do you do you have anything else or? No, I'm just uh, thanks for having me and uh, thanks for coming on, Jim. Yeah, take it easy, V. Yeah, thank you very much, J Jim. You're still here, right? Oh, did you throw me out already? No, Fuck. no, I'm, I'm, I'm asking you, I'm making sure. I don't, I don't even, I don't even have a coat. I don't have a coat you can take, right? <laughs> you throw me out. Really? You gotta go put one on. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go. I gotta go put one on, and then. Uh... Before you go, we're we're already almost a full hour over our normal allotment here. Um, you were you were in the chat though earlier during the uh, David Shitrat uh, section. Uh, any thoughts on that? Oh yeah, no, that that was some funny shit. Yeah, that that was some great stuff. I I'm going. To, <laughs> there's no way I'm not going to play that when I stream about it. Uh, he was so thirsty, and his game is so shit. Like he doesn't know how to talk to women. I guess yeah. that would make sense from a self-confessed incel or whatever the fuck he declares himself at the day. But um, I just I, I want to know what David Shitrat's opinion of the fact that the girl he really likes cosplayed as me. So oh. you know, David, if he can hit me up, I just love to know. <laughs> I just love to know your thoughts on that. <laughs> All right, I'll let, I'll let the panel go ahead and, and have their you know, say. I mean, and then fuck, we'll it's, it's, a weird, it's a weird day. Both the subjects <laughs> in your stream actually have cosplays as me. Lauren Southern did, and Sargon has. <laughs> Sargon that, did. Uh, yeah, he Sargon has. Dressed up as me. Yeah, so. In that drunk stream that he was on. Uh, he has a wig on. Oh, my God. That's why, that's why I think he's in love with you. Or if Mr. Meadowker has anything out. Oh. <laughs> oh. Go ahead. Go ahead, panel. Oh, I'm scared. I'll I'll leave it to you, please. Just just ask oh, a question. Oh, oh I I uh, you, yeah. I'll I'll jump. I'll let you get back to your show. I just want to nah, say, I'm I'm Sweetie, oh, oh, yeah, sweetie Squad number one skeptics <laughs> suck a dick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we can make it any better than that. To Thank be you, honest. Jim. By the way, Jim, can can you say one thing before we go? Sure. Where's the money, Dave? Where is the money, David? Ten thousand dollar dues. Where did it go? Did, did you get catfished or did the Muslim lady steal it from you at bomb point? What happened? <laughs> thank you very much, sir. All right. Thank you.